Happy New Year, y'all. Happy Absolutely. New Year. Alphas with Tone. And Trina. Welcome back. I hope you enjoy your holidays and yes. you're enjoying your New Year. All that's passed by the time this has released. We're here to deliver the truth to you about hip hop. Here's our year in review. Make sure year you comment review. below. Let comment us know your top five, everything as well. There you go. Comment below and hit subscribe. And yes. the bell button, by the way, it helps us pursue more effectively and in better quality, delivering yes. the truth to you about hip hop. And get some paper. And Patreon, make sure you go to our Patreon page, visit it. We have tiered <laughs> levels of support um, where you donate a certain amount a month. It can be recurring, it can be a one time thing. But we have details about that on the page patreon.com forward slash absolutely alphas. And there's private content you get to see once you become a member and your paid subscriber. Uh, you'll get personal videos, you can be featured on the show, you get a shout out, things like that. So make sure you visit, check us out, donate, we love you guys. And again, we're everywhere, Instagram, SoundCloud, iTunes, Pocket Cast, uh, whatever, wherever and you listen to po Spotify, podcast. Spotify, we're on Spotify, so every, I, I said I changed our Oh, damn. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, we're welcome there. back. Like we said, we're doing a year review for 2018. Uh, we want to thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support this year. We couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, we're almost at 200. Well, we're at 100 followers, subscribers yeah, yeah, on YouTube. Yeah. So, that's yeah. a big deal. You oh, know? Then, uh, thank you. We couldn't have did it without we you guys. We couldn't have did it without you guys. Thank so, you so much that's for a, that. a milestone thank for you. us. And we just want to say thanks. And we hope you guys had a wonderful year with us. Um, so we're going to get right in, I guess. Oh, before, before all that, how was your week, brother? Oh, it's, you know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm actually glad that the holidays are over. I am too. Because, uh, I, I finally finished all my eggnog. I, you know, my foot is healing. I had an injury in the gym, so I'm going to get back to my running and, uh, getting this holiday eggnog weight off. And, you know, Ooh. it's like, it's like eggnog and eating out more consistently as well. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. So I'm, I'm a whole, like, 15 pounds heavier than I should be. Right. So good. Though. I haven't gained too much weight. I've tried to stick to my keto for the most You actually look smaller time. than, like, for the <laughs> I know. I know. I've been, yeah, you, yeah, I've been trying not to exploit <laughs> the holidays <laughs> for the food, you know, and, and just be greedy. I've been very mindful. The keto helps with that, though. Even when I'm not on it, I don't eat as much and I don't crave. I'm not a bread person anyway. Right. But whatever. Uh, right. My right. week my week was fantastic. We went out last night to watch the Ravens play. Yeah. They won. It's lit. And if, in case you guys follow us on Instagram, um, Brother posted a picture of a horse. And it was a, ba a big horse and it was a baby horse. And the big horse hair was covering the baby horse hair. And it was like... This is what I want to look like. This, and it this, just so happened, I got to say, I was like, bro, that's the kind of wig I got. Same color. Yeah. So this is, uh, what did I call her? Did I give her a name? I'm, I'm going to call her Selena. Mm. Mm. I'm going to be giving her a name, so yeah, that's what's up. This is my new year. We're going out tonight to the window on the ocean front. I'm going to have, I'm going to be fly. I'll probably post some pictures so y'all stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, we're doing the top five. We're doing a top five. We're doing bottom five for 2018 as well. Top five albums, we, bottom five albums. I got, and also we have top three EPs. And top three party albums. And top three party albums. And, um, a bonus uh, I, I just kind of, yeah, I threw a new bonus in there for top three trap. I'll be doing that by myself, though. All right, so let's do a toast to the to, new year. To a great, a great, great things coming. Pretty, and a good year in hip hop, and yeah, greater things to come, you know, for you guys as well as we. Continue to deliver to you guys yes, the truth to the young black. Group. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. But also, so. that picture that you posted ain't got nothing to do with hip hop with the horses on there. You know what? But it did though. <laughs> what? It, it, was, it, was, it was a reality show picture. You love hip hop. It was loving hip hop. That's what it was. Boom. I stand corrected. My bad, bro. You always thank you. And and it's, and it's entertainment. You know, it's you know I'll, I'll put any, I'll put anything that I think is funny on there in real life. I mean, you won't. I will. I actually, <laughs> will do it. <laughs> All right, you want to go first with yours? Yeah. Or you want to go bop, 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 bop? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to go back and forth in East. Okay. All right. Topic. Cool. Perfect. So we'll start with the top five of the year. Top five of uh, the year. I actually have my top five, and then I have some runner-ups as well, because it was it was a really good year for hip-hop. It really was. So uh, we have, I got, and then we also have albums on here that we didn't actually review in the show. As well. Right, yeah. Um, so, we listen to albums that we don't review also. Right, so it, it, there's so much content, you know. Yeah, so so um, much to listen to. So much. So um, we have, I have Stevie Stone and JL 
um, Stevie Stone as the, the primary artist here, and this is like a compilation effort with both of them. They're on the Strange label with Tech 9 who is also like highly elite and uh, amongst uh, my top five albums this year as well, actually. Mm -hmm. um, Stevie Stone and Jail made, made a, an album called Contraband. Probably something that most of you guys haven't heard of, um, I, so I, I'm going to say they're they're just all underground, um, and I they're under Tech Nine's label, um, which is also like he's been underground like his whole career and has made it work. He's been very successful actually. Um, and then I have Lupe Fiasco, Droga's Wave. Yeah. Um, then I have and it's it's a tough top five too. It's a tough top five. Like these these are like. About equal albums. It's bare. Yeah, it was. It, it's like you know, I, I just I made the order as best I could. You just had to pick, you know. Yeah. So I mean, I, I have way. I I do have a metric breakdown for the order I have here, but you know, we we don't have to get into that. Um, then I have Logic, Young Sinatra, Four. Uh, yes. Probably the most brilliant production this year on that album of, of anything that I, I heard. Um, then I have I have a title number five between Eminem, Kamikaze. And Black Thought, Streams of Th Thought 2. Uh -huh. um, so, Streams of Thought 1 was um, on Spotify listed as an EP, and Streams of Thought 2 was listed as an album. Um, so, I have Streams of Thought 2 kind of, I mean, and I, again, I, I don't want to go into like a full review of everything, but it's like, Black Thought is is already timeless in his flow and in his yeah. lyrical execution yeah. and his variety of topics. I mean, he talks... I mean, he could hit so many points. He's so and, and in his one flow song. Is just so right, and the flow, his his flow is phenomenal. Timeless. Yeah, he has I a timeless it. flow, and I, I would say his voice. I love his voice. I would say collectively, based on all these features, because he could hit so many topics per song as well. That I would say collectively, he's a better rapper than Eminem. I think Eminem is. I think so, absolutely. I think Eminem shows more evolution than Black Thought. Okay. So, so that's I mean, so that's why this is a tough. Um, he's already evolved as far as he could. He he's he can't even, anymore. Huh? He's at the top. A yeah, I right. <laughs> no, that's a good way to say it. I yeah. mean, like Black Thought doesn't have to really do anything else with his flow. Yeah. I he's mean, there. right, you know, but Eminem I, I think it's like he he's also like caught up with the times. Like he can he can do the choppy trap flow like everyone else yeah. and, and do it better than like all the trap artists. Right. You know, so if he's like, so choose right. choose to, Yeah, so know. that that's that's the kind of variety that Eminem has. So it's like that happened. Then I got my runner ups, I got Royce Book of Ryan, J. Cole K O D of course. Right. Um, Nas Nazir, of course. Black Eyed Peas, Masters of the Sun, Anderson Pack. Black Eyed Peas, I just wrote that down too. They yeah. definitely, I forgot all about them. Yeah, just Anderson now. Pac. That's crazy. Oxnard and Lil Wayne Carter Five as well. And um, also something. You know what you made the runners up? All of the ones I'm going to say. Look, don't mention your runners up. Well, you already mentioned them. Of course, yes. So um. So, but no, nah, uh, something else uh, that I didn't mention before, but something I plan to do in, in the editing of the um, the captions or the notes of, the, of these YouTube posts um, down below is I'm going to put like my revised reviews on um, each one as well at some point because I continue to analyze albums after we record here and sometimes my rating changes a little bit. Mm. So, um, so, you know, I'll be, be on the lookout for that as well. Because I, I really study and, and going, you know, hard on this. And um, that, that's, that's all I got. Okay. Top all right. Five. Top five for me. <laughs> first one. Stuff Bobby said. Everything he already said. <laughs> Basically, um, the very first thing we reviewed was, uh, I believe, the brown tape. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely, that was a collect a body of work that I thought was so brilliant. It was a brilliant thing. And it's the theme, thing. it was a story. It was, you know, loosely based on this comic book that Rizzo and Ghostface uh, produced. In case you don't know, it's Ghostface Killer, Tony Stark's. Also, my brother's uh, one of his monitors. <laughs> so that was definitely one of the uh, top five. Uh, Lou Bay Fiasco, of course. Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, and then Anderson Pack is like he's in there as well. Absolutely. So um, I thought all those albums were wonderful. Of course, Droga's Wave. I mean, oh, who, you gotta include Droga's Wave. Had to. Yeah. It had everything from classical to reggae. I mean, it was a story about the transatlantic like slave he it, trade. Man. Yeah, it was. It. it was timeless beautiful and very poetic so um those are my top five albums so um let me can i start can i do the bottom five uh this is gonna be funny yeah please start <laughs> As I clear my, let me clear my throat <laughs> i'm sorry young thug <laughs> Tridak. please refer to the uh previous review that we did months ago when it first came out you know, it's part of my life I can't get back. You know what I'm saying? That's time that I can't get back. But 
Yeah, so Young Thug, what's the name of the album? Slime, Slime Language. Slime Language. Yeah. E-40, uh, Designer, City Girls, and Chief Keith. Those are my bottom five. Wow. We, You know, E-40, I remember we did E-40, and I think it was um, Noriega. And when we did a review, and E-40, I remember you liked him, you appreciated him a little bit more than I did. Um, I do give E-40 his props. I just, I don't like his voice. And to me, he just doesn't, his flow. I mean, he's been in the game. I got to respect him. So I don't want anybody to think I'm disrespecting him. Right. But definitely in my bottom five. So <laughs> that's my bottom five. Young Thug, E-40 designer, City Girls. City Girls, it's like, you know, I don't. They, they, they could have just added some topics. I don't even know how if they, they if, even if got they, so popular. If they, if they could have just added some topics, the album could have been so much better. Because cause they their, their bars aren't, like, terrible. Yeah. Like, they have, like, average to good bars. But there's but, room in the game for them right now because there's really aren't any female duets mm, out there rapping. So I, guess I mean, that's and, how they and, got and, it. and and they're from Miami and they they replaced Trina. So I and mean, so yeah. yeah, they um, yeah, they're basically baby Trinas. We said that before. Yeah. But uh, I guess you know, shouts out to them. They mm. had to have done some type of work, hard work to get in that position. I mean, but it's it's like they could have added like two concepts and it would have been a good album though. That's all I'm saying. Oh, and they, okay. they just didn't have any concept. Like the concept was thoughts. The concept was <laughs> yeah. yeah there, there, there was a theme. It just <clears throat> wasn't like there, there wasn't any variety. But it was yeah. it was it was a theme. Yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? But yeah. it was a played out theme too. Right. Yeah, Me, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, grab, um, grab my attention, artists, female artists. Yeah, okay, it's all right. good. What's your bottom five, bro? So I got my bottom five, of course, Young Thug, Slime Language, and right. I, I, as I talk to people, like my friends, about you know my show, I, I'm, I'm really like excited and like proud of like high review albums, and it's Aww, yeah, I and, am too. I and, think you're great. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of what we, what we do here, and, Aww. and I mean, I, we enjoy doing it, like. It, it doesn't matter how successful we become. We're, we're going to always love doing this. Yeah. Okay. And That means a lot. I and I, I, I go, I, so I talk to my friends about albums sometimes and like just kind of just hear what they had to say. Like I, they already know I did the show, but I just kind of like just talk about the music just to kind of check on them, see if they're fucking my show or not. Yeah. they really, if they really, if I'm really engaging with me. So, right, right, right. Anyway, so like a lot of, so a couple of my friends talked about how Young Thug actually makes good music. And this is it's just so unfortunate that this is my first impression of him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's I got that as the worst album of the year. Then I got Quavo, Quavo Huncho, number two, second worst album of the year. I know she disagrees. Don't hate Quavo though. It, that, that album was trash. I don't hate him, but the album was trash. I, I'm gonna just leave it at that. I got Designer L O D number uh three. I got City, That album was trash. Trash. <laughs> City, we, we got City Girls Girl Code, uh, which was like I had that just below average, so it was like barely yeah. trash. Um, and then I have E40 Gift of Gab, which I rate as average, which means we, you know, in the year in review, like in the actual like ratings and reviews we've done for 2018, there haven't been a lot of trash reviews. So that, that means it was a good year for hip hop. Um, I mean, most albums were like six or better, I think, you know, for yes. our, on our ratings. So yeah. I mean, so that, so that means it was a good year for hip hop. Right. Um, so for for number five on the worst list to be like an average rating is like that's pretty still good. It's 20, still 2018 pretty is like, alright, that's what's yeah. up, you know? Yeah, right, I'll agree. take it. Um, so we're gonna do EPs or party. We're gonna do next. another. Uh, let's do the EPs. <clears throat> another honorable mention since you did your honorable mention. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do an honorable mention. This is artist right here. I don't think I shared him with you. I listened to it when it first came out. Uh, Amine. <clears throat> Amine. That's how you say it. Um, if you guys haven't heard of him, he, check he him like out. Prodigy to me. Yeah, he does. This is a really funny. He's he's very talented. It's a really nice body of work that he had. It's called One Point Five, a uh, thirteen songs, about a half an hour. It's a really nice album. Play one of the songs. This one's called Hiccup. But yeah, featuring Gunner, Dapper Dan. I like the fact that he got a song called Dapper Dan with Gerbo in there. Yeah, you're gonna be everywhere, man. He like, he's always featured with someone shit. Right, right. <laughs> But it's 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 a nice it's a it's a nice kind of party. It's yeah. fun. It's not too heavy. It, like, it's, 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 it thumps like early though. Yeah, it like, thumps. Yeah, so definitely that's an honorable yeah, mention. You know, up. he's a little underground, but he's on Spotify. And I guess on iTunes. I'll well. take it. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. That's but one. yeah, let's do the. Um, I'm check them out. Yeah, the EPs. Okay, EPs. So um, I've got top threes for EPs mm -hmm. because we. Not only did we not review many EPs, but honestly, we didn't listen to many, or I don't know if many, maybe not that many released. I don't yeah. know. We try to call um, them so, like um, studio album. So for top three, I have uh, Full Spectrum Dominance 2 by Cannabis as number one EP of the year. Then I have 
Black Thought Dreams, Strength Dreams, Streams of Thought One, Volume One by Black Thought. Because again, on Spotify, for whatever reason, even though Streams of Thought Two was a pretty short album, it's it's um it's categorized as an album as nine tracks as opposed to an EP. But Streams of Thought One is categorized as an EP, so I had that as number two here. And then I got Wale Free Lunch, which was stellar as well. Okay. Don't, don't forget about that. Definitely go back and check it out. I, I don't think it got really, really that, got that much promotion or it didn't. A, a exposure. It didn't. So go back and check out that Wale for sure. Those are my same three. Screens of Thought 1 and 2 and Wale. Basically, um, yeah, Boom, that's it. <laughs> All right, then what we got? Party? <clears throat> the party albums. Um, so my party, my top five are Quavo. Or top, yeah, okay. Quavo, Gucci, Wiz, Cardi B. Mm. And... um. I'm going to throw Black Eyed Peas in there, because that was kind of a party album, too. Yeah, it, it, it has some funk to it. So, that, it. Those, those would be my top five. Quavo, I know you hate it, but I thought the beat stunk, and I think that's definitely something I can ride and listen to. The beat sounded like. Uh, yeah. Gucci. The whole album. Man. Don't be mad, bro. Qua uh, Gucci, we already know. and we I know y'all seen the post on Facebook where I was like, Gucci or 21 Savage, and everybody like was like, is that a joke? Obviously Gucci, but I, to my brother's defense, I do see his vantage point, but it's still Gucci. Um, <clears throat> Wiz Khalifa, dope. That was just dope. It was very pimpish, you know what I mean? You could go pimp some hoes if you want to this album. You could be in a club, strippers. I mean, it's just an all, all around party. I'm smoke songs galore, you know, he's an infamous smoker. Snoop Dogg, forget about it. Cardi B. She blew up. This was a fantastic year for her. That mm -hmm. album, yeah. No Privacy, yeah. it was stellar, well done. The it's money that just came out, privacy. that video was beautiful. Is it Invasion? I think it's Invasion What did privacy. I say? In, you said No Privacy. I think it's Invasion Ah, privacy. Invasion. Definitely Invasion Privacy. It's all good. And uh, Black Eyed Peas. That was a, a great body of work. Very creative. We hadn't heard from them in a while, and they bought it. I mean, the flow was nice. Uh, there, there were concepts. Nas was on one of the album, one of the tracks. Yeah, like the second. I mean, so track or something like that. Yeah, it was it was great, and th like I said, the beats. You know, they're musicians at heart, so the production was fantastic. So definitely, those are my top five. Absolutely. So for party albums of the year, I have some fun albums here. So I gotta give Six Nine Dummy Boy, give it to Six Nine for Dummy Boy, basically because he had a. I, I hear that boy. Oh, you say oh. He, um, he, no, because he had a variety of different party types on there. Like, he I had, think like, you just like the album cover because it's colorful. He, he, like, he, like, the, he had the, um, he had, like, the Spanish party, out, like, party songs. Yeah, he, that was crazy. He had, like, the, the, the bangers with Kanye. Mm. And, I mean, then he had, like, the, the straight up, like, regular, like, I guess, or, I, I guess, contemporary, like, trap and emo rap that he was doing too. Mm -hmm. So like, email rap? Emo, emo. Oh emo rap. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that genre that you like mentioned. Like XXX Temptation. Yeah, like I mean I I don't know. I saw the song that he did with, with Gunna as like an emo song. I don't know. Cause it, that was the only song I heard him sing on. But um but yeah I mean it, it, it was it's like it had good variety but I mean it felt it like the it, like sometimes the short thing I don't always go for the short thing or like the short album thing. But sometimes the short things, like, it, it works to your advantage if you have, like, a bunch of bangers on your album. So that's what makes it, like, I think you can just play 6 9 Dummy Boy and just, like, in your oh, car. Oh, about FIFA. Yeah, FIFA yeah, did go hard. Yeah, in, in your car. On your, that was your favorite from the album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Yeah, but, um, but, like, you can just play this in your car on your way to the party and then just keep playing it. And, I mean, it'll just stump, it, like, the whole time. And then I got Travis Scott, Astro World number two, of course. Uh, Wiz, of course, Wiz, Rolling Papers 2. I mean, that, papers too. you gotta put that you, you on gotta, gotta put that on your top five top party. Five. You know, if you have oh, a, yes. you have a party with that already, make sure you do. Right. And I got Nikki Queen actually from a number four party, which we haven't talked about yet. But uh, but her, like she had like a lot of like, I mean, she had like, I know you said the definition of party is like twerk music, and like I didn't know say that. Well, off the air, not on the air. I mean, I didn't never say there was a definition of party music was twerk. Did I say that out loud? You did those say that. words verbatim. You did say that. I don't that. think I did. You, it's, it's okay. You said it though. Right, but it's, right. it's, it's all good. So, um, yeah, number uh, four there. Then I got Logic Tarantino, Bobby Tarantino, number two. For the party? For party, yeah. Because hmm. I mean, yeah, because yeah, I mean, because he just he just had like these. He had these. Okay, so my definition of party music. Is like music that you can ride, like you know, you riding like say with your homegirls, like with my homeboys, uh -huh. and then like you on your way out somewhere, y'all going to do some lit shit, 
And yes. then like and then then you you know what I mean so you get you know what I mean you and you know you you enjoy that that time with your friends like you know what I mean this is like vibing with some shit and then you, and then you get there and then you know you can still you can still plug and play all five of these albums even if if you got like some house party shit going on or something yeah I mean it's yeah so that that's how I like feel like a, I don't know that, that's that's, that's my that's my overall like party vibe definition okay riding or partying or like you know just lounging you know whatever you're doing. Type shit. You know? And to me, the definition um, is <clears throat> something you can move to. You know what I mean? Something yeah. that's gonna make you bob your head. Yeah. And like if yeah, you're in a club and you hear it and it come absolutely. on, you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my song. Nah, you know, shit. Nah. You know, so, that, that, that's included. Yeah. That yeah. is included. <clears throat> absolutely. And you could twerk, but you could also be like, something like trap music in a club like this. Yeah. Like, you know. So yeah, I think. Um, a good choice. I, I wouldn't look at that as that, but I, th- I could see what you're saying about Rod. Um, I wanted to find party music or something I, I would ride to. Because I would ride to But will you be getting lit in your car on your way to the spot, though. You like, you know what I mean? Can, okay, you, on the way to the spot, that, that, spot yeah. That, that feeling, on like, with, spot, with, your, yeah. with your homegirls on, yeah. like, how you, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. a, it's that I vibe. You. I don't I know. You. I, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. about. Those are very memorable moments. <laughs> It, yo, this is like my this is a song I had on VP the most off 69's album. Dang, D D J Lo got a new song out too. Oh, and what's the name had a banger too? Uh, what's the chick? Did, did you ever say your party's uh, bangers? Did you ever say? Yeah, those? my party Quavo. Gucci, oh, okay, my, my bad. Okay, uh-huh. and um and a track. Did you want to? So I'm, I, yeah, I'm the only one doing it. Like I added this as a bonus at the last like second. Last like uh, literally before like we like right before. right before we <laughs> hop in the air. Right. So I got my top three trap. I'm gonna end up going with Teak Grizzly, still my moment. Uh-huh. Um, I'm gonna go with Twenty One Savage. Okay. Um, I am greater than I was, and it didn't. And then I'm, I'm like back and forth with those two. I don't even know which one to put first, really. Uh-huh. To be honest with you, that that that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. I mean, you you know what? Comment below if you listen to both albums. Uh, but they're definitely two of the. I would say. Really, the t- the top two trap artists I can think of, and unless you want to categorize like Lil Wayne as trap, but that wasn't really his base. Who Twenty One Savage and who? And um, T Grizzly. Um, and, and and that's another thing. T Grizzly probably doesn't get like he. I don't know if he's still like an underground status or like he has he has like popular artists featured on his um album, but I mean I had never heard of him before. I had never heard of him before um, this year, so mm. so I mean I, that that tells me that he doesn't get enough exposure for his talent level because he, he can mm. spit. Um, and then I actually do have Gucci Mane, um, Evil Genius is number three. Gucci is definitely that's all for me. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah I mean, right back to that. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I know you all about Gucci, but I Gucci, mean, but he but soundtrack he, was lit too. We forgot to forget about Ti, that was lit. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I mean, but do you, I don't know? It's, would you consider Ti trap though? I mean, like, maybe now, the but... The name of the album is Dime <laughs> Trap. No, I'm just saying. Yes. <laughs> Any country. You know, you know what? I'll, hey. take, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. As, 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 like, okay. Uh, cause, but I'm, I'm... Okay, so what I'm doing... When I when I did my top three, I'm going through, like, artists who have Trap as a base, as their style. Oh, uh, okay. And, and, okay. And when, and when T.I. first came out, I didn't really see that as, like... I didn't see him as a Trap artist when he first came out. Okay. Um, well, Trap wasn't really a, a thing He's back like then. like a down south rapper yeah i mean well i don't i don't was trap even invented that i don't even think trap was out like when that. when he came out right, you know so it's, saying, like, right? that's not his base so that he doesn't come to mind but uh, yeah of course he, he should be in i would say yeah he should, he should probably be in the top three yeah yeah i mean if, if you want to like if you categorize he as a trap artist then yeah but i'm just saying when he first came out that's Do y'all just, consider him a trap artist well yeah, i'm just saying question, i mean but when he first came out the trap didn't exist that's all <laughs> that's, that's that's all i'm saying right you know what i mean not not take not you know what i mean ti is it also a, one of the, but i wonder what you consider him has he become a trap artist though, i mean you know? yeah that's what yeah that's so? that's what i think about lil wayne oh, okay like that's that's what i'm saying like lil wayne would probably be number one right if you want to put him in that category yeah if it's well his, his album anyway carter five that but, was um, very trap heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you if you want to put them in that category, but I, I right. don't I don't know that they as artists like really fit into that category. It's it's, it's debatable. It's, it's debatable. debatable. Let us know your thoughts below. It's all good. So that's that's all I got. That's it. That's all I got. Again, we thank you guys. We hope you have a lovely New Year. Hit up that Patreon. New Year's notes. Day. Patreon. Don't stop talking while I'm talking. Hit us up. Let us know what you think. We love you. We thank you. And have a wonderful, wonderful year. <laughs> Happy New Year.